Hey guys, my name is Amanda. Welcome to my channel. I am so happy to have you here today. If you have not subscribed to my channel and you like the content that you see, please consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, please hit that bell button so you are notified every single time that I upload. And everyone, please consider giving me a big thumbs up as that really helps me out here on YouTube and it allows YouTube to know that people are enjoying the content I create. Thank you so much, friends. Enjoy the DIYs today. Okay, so jumping right into the DIYs, I'm going to show you several projects inspired by Jessica Lynn at home. Her channel used to be called Measure and Mix, but she changed her name and she still has the same great DIYs. Here are some pictures of some of the content on her channel, which I absolutely love and get so much inspiration from. Here's a couple pictures of things that I am going to be recreating today and putting my own spin on. With all of that being said, let's jump right into it. So here's an idea. I'm going to recreate a three-piece standing pumpkin set that she made. She actually made a cat, a ghost, and a pumpkin, but I'm just going to make pumpkins. I'm taking four Dolly Tree signs. Three of them are left over from Easter. I got them for 50 cents and I'm just going to remove the tags and flip them over. The other one is just a faux wood plank sign. So for the three that I have already prepared, I'm just going to draw a half circle at the top with pencil and then I'm just going to take my wire cutters and my X-Acto knife and just get that top scored and then you can just break off where you need to cut and you can use scissors to cut any paper that may need to be trimmed. Once you have all three of these rounded off at the top then you can paint so I painted one with Waverly agave one with Waverly pumpkin and one with Waverly plaster I then distressed each one with some Waverly antique wax this is optional um, but I just like how it looks once that is done and you lay all three out you can glue them together so I flip all three of them over and I just use some popsicle sticks that can be found at Dollar Tree to glue the seams together with hot glue. I use quite a few of these to make it stable and I am going to be covering the back with some brown craft paper. And then to the middle, which is that plaster colored pumpkin, I'm going to add this wire ring. This is from a three piece set from Dollar Tree. It's the larger ring, but you can use any size. Then I'm just going to take some leaves from Dollar Tree and I'm going to alternate colors that I like all the way around the circle, gluing it down with some hot glue. I just like the way that that circle wreath form gives me a kind of form or a template. Then I'm going to take a couple of picks that have these beautiful cotton stems on them, remove the cotton stems and glue them down, and then fill in some more leaves until this looks full and fluffy. And those cotton stems were from Dollar Tree as well. Once I get that looking how I like it, I'm going to go ahead and take three pieces of stick that my son got me from the yard, and I had just cut it down to the size that I wanted. I used a generous amount of hot glue to adhere the sticks to the back of my pumpkins and I tied some shoelace bows with some cute Dollar Tree ribbon and attached that to the top of each pumpkin. I then decided we need a tiny pop of color so I added in some green eucalyptus here and there on my wreath. Then I'm forming the bow using some Dollar Tree burlap and lace ribbon. I'm just doing an X bow with two loops on either side and I'm tying that tightly in the middle with a piece of twine. I'm removing any excess twine and giving my bow a nice little fluffing. Once that is done, I'm going to glue that down to the top of my little wreath and I will tie one more little shoelace bow of a matching color to the pumpkins above and just attach that on top of my larger bow. Then I'm I'm going to go ahead and wrap three rows of twine around the bottom of my pumpkins. I'm going to go back to this fourth Dollar Tree sign. I'm going to cut off that little cutout, stain it with Waverly Antique Wax, and I'm going to take this long MDF sign from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to glue it down to my faux wood piece and that way I can lean my pumpkins up against them and it will help stand up. So I just use generous amounts of hot glue on that little plank that is acting as my little standing up piece and here you go. How adorable. 
Now you could also use some wood blocks or something in the back to help this stand up if you don't have that sign. And you could also use a longer lasting glue like an E6000. Um, I just used hot glue for video purposes, but I hope that you like how this came out. Okay, let's talk about today's challenge. It is hosted by my friend Connie from Connie's Creative Creations and her co-host is myself. And we are really just putting a new spin on the collaboration that we used to do called Here's Your Crown with a similar concept, women supporting women. We are going to see one, do one, teach one, recreation inspiration. And so I obviously have picked Jessica Lynn to recreate some of her items and give her credit for the amazing creator that she is. So I want to thank Connie for hosting such an amazing collaboration. I love the thought behind it. Connie is so sweet and amazing as well. I will have her chance Channel linked below. I'll also have the playlist for this challenge linked below so you can check out all of this inspiration. Okay, let's get into our next idea. I'm going to show you this gorgeous wreath, another recreation from Jessica Lynn. Of course, mine has my own spin, so I'm taking a large wreath form from Dollar Tree and several colors of their fuzzy yarn from Dollar Tree as well. I am going to double over this kind of burnt orange yarn so that I can wrap two strands at once. I'm going to cut off a rather large strip that is doubled over. I'm going to glue it down and begin wrapping. Now, I wrap three sections on either side of this eight section wreath with this orange color yarn and then to the two remaining sections that are between these two orange sections I am going to do that kind of a cream or off-white color yarn on one section and then this burgundy yarn on another this really doesn't take as long as you would think I had it done in less than an hour and I love it I'm going to take this Dollar Tree sign and I'm just going to take apart the top and the bottom two pieces by removing the staples and just cut off the top. I'm going to leave the bottom two together however. Now I'm just going to take this top sign. I'm going to add generous amounts of glue and I'm going to adhere it to the bottom of my wreath and then with these two little arrows for the top I'm just going to hang them from the top of my wreath and use a little piece of tag to adhere that hot glue so that this is hanging nicely. Then to either side of my hayride sign I'm going to add a couple of little leaves that I got from a 50 pack Dollar Tree and I'm also going to add some of these pretty um, burgundy color flowers from Dollar Tree on either side until I feel like it's balanced out. I don't want to overpower it but I do just want to add a couple of accent pieces that I think are so pretty. Add a couple more leaves just kind of gluing them around. I actually glue a couple to the bottom of that sign there um, underneath and here is what this is going to look like. I add an orange leaf um, on the top of the sign on either side. I'm really trying to keep this uniform but it's so simple. I think it is so pretty. I love the colors and think everything matches well. You'll have to let me know what you think down below in the description box. Well, <laughs> not in the description box, in the comments. It is time for coffee, you guys. Hey, let's move into our next project. This adorable little garland, again, inspired by Jessica. I'm going to make this um, cute little garland using some of Dollar Tree's wooden pumpkins. They come eight to a pack and they are labeled as ornaments. I'm going to double over some of this very same fuzzy yarn that I am adding absolutely obsessed with these days. I'm going to glue it down and wrap my pumpkins. Now you're going to wrap almost to the top but not quite because you want to go ahead and put in that little twine hanger that comes with these pumpkins before you wrap the stem and that way you can get that twine hanger in with no issue. So here you see I'm adding that little twine hanger and then I'm going to finish wrapping the orange part of my pumpkin and once I come to the top of the pumpkin outline I'm then going to take a piece of darker brown fuzzy twine from Dollar Tree and just wrap that around my stem gluing it down. I wrap it around several times because I actually wanted my stem to look kind of chunky. I just thought that was really cute. So here I am gluing off the last part of the pumpkin yarn here beginning with my stem piece, gluing it down and just wrapping it. You can wrap it as many times as you like just to achieve the look that you like. Once I'm done, I will glue it down and trim it off. I'm going to do this four times. We can do it as many times as you like, however long you want your garland. Here's what they look like. Now I'm just taking some beautiful um, 
fabric from Dollar Tree. I'm going to fold it over and just cut several strips. Mine are about two inches wide, but you could do this however you like. And so the pattern that I want to do is make three of these little ties and then a pumpkin and then repeat. Um, I did cut those longer strips in half. Now I'm going to take a piece of rope from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to tie a loop in one end like you saw me do so that I can hang it easily. So here is my strip. It's about seven inches long and about two inches wide and I'm just tying it on there easy peasy and then I'm just going to tie three of them. Like I said my pattern is three pumpkin and then three pumpkin. So I'm just going to do this until all of my pumpkins are used up. I like I said, I did make a fairly short garland, but you can make this as long as you like. And again, these pumpkins come eight to a pack. So this is super easy and simple, just kind of repeating the same steps over and over, but so easy and so fun, very customizable as well. Dollar Tree has lots of different fabrics, lots of different colors of yarn. You don't even have to use a fuzzy yarn if you don't want to. You can use a normal yarn or a rope or a twine or a different fabric you can Mod Podge that on. So a uh, lot of ideas there for you, but here's what this looks like. I think it is absolutely adorable. I am so obsessed with that fuzzy look right now and so here is that now let's move into our next idea i wanted to make a centerpiece jessica lynn makes some beautiful centerpieces i'm kind of obsessed with like this one in the top left corner so i am going to create my own centerpiece i'm going to take five of these wooden boxes with the inserts and several of these pumpkins from dollar tree i'm going to remove the inserts from my boxes and i am going Going to flip the box upright and then I'm going to flip the insert over so that the bottom is the top and my insert piece is facing the side so it will not be seen. I am going to repeat this until all of my large upright boxes, all five of them, are used. Now I have a very long table because there's nine people in my family but you can make this as long or as short as you want. I just wanted mine long. Now when I am gluing the smaller pieces the insert of the drawers I just try to put them in between the larger pieces so it kind of looks like a staggered look now I just mix some territorial beige paint with some Dollar Tree brown paint and some water to create a faux stain and I just stained my entire little creation here now I'm going to use some Dollar Tree foam squares adhesive they are absolutely amazing you just peel them off and stick them down and I didn't want to put glue on my beautiful pumpkins so these worked out perfectly I am actually showing you how I turn this sideways and the pumpkins do not fall off so I think that that is absolutely awesome here you can see so now I'm just going to grab up some leaves that I like and some little pumpkins on a clip from Dollar Tree and as you can see I ran out of floral foam it was too late at night to go and grab some so I just used some paper towels and I tucked my little pumpkins in between each large pumpkin and then I took my leaves that were together like two of them are together and I just kind of opened that up and spread it across between each pumpkin like you can see me doing here just taking a grouping of two stretching it out and spreading it across and that way you don't need a lot of glue and I was able to do this without floral foam like I said now the only thing I'm gluing is I'm just taking a few of these little leaves from that 50 pack from Dollar Tree and just gluing a couple of them to other leaves but nothing is being glued on my pumpkins or my box so it's all reusable and I am also just adding a tiny bit of glue to those berries that were on some of these picks um, from Dollar Tree but here's what this looks like this is so customizable Dollar Tree has so many different florals so many different leaves they have beautiful blue leaves or kind of creamy color ones um, they have so many pumpkins that are the same style as this in different colors so really the sky is the limit I just tried to design mine to match these Dollar Tree placemats that I've had since last year and I just think that it looks so gorgeous I absolutely love love these bright uh, vibrant fall colors I really hope that you like them as well you'll have to let me know what you think thank you so much for watching today I hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and take care friends 
Okay, so for one last look at the things that we made today, we made this gorgeous wreath, we made this beautiful pumpkin trio, and this fall arrangement, as well as this beautiful garland. I hope you enjoyed today's projects. Please take care, friends. I will see you soon. Like and subscribe to my mom's channel, and thank you for watching today's craft, and stay safe.